Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today we have episode number 12 of 10 Things You Didn't Know About. For this episode, we decided to do a little bit of a different and rather controversial topic to honor Friday the 13th. Despite being largely disliked by many, they are without a doubt a necessary evil that everybody loves to hate. Buckle up, y'all, because today we are bringing you 10 fun facts you probably didn't know about the DOT, Department of Transportation. Number one, the Department of Transportation, or DOT for short, was established over 50 years ago in 1966 when President Lyndon B. Johnson signed it into law as a federal cabinet of the U.S. government. The DOT began operations on April 1st in 1967 and, although much to the dismay of many truckers, was not an April Fool's joke. Number two. The DOT has many different administrations in which it governs, including the Federal Aviation Administration, Federal Highway Administration, and many others. In fact, before the Department of Homeland Security was created in 2002 as a response to the terrorist attacks of 9-11, the United States Coast Guard was operated by the DOT. In 2003, the United States Coast Guard was formally transferred to the Department of Homeland Security. Number three, speaking of former DOT administrations, the Transportation Security Administration was also transferred to the Department of Homeland Security in 2003, in addition to the U.S. Coast Guard. Also, the Surface Transportation Board, or STB for short, spun off as an independent federal agency and separated from the DOT in 2015. Number four, in 2017, Elaine Chow was named the 18th United States Secretary of Transportation. Prior to her Secretary of Transportation role, Chow served under President H.W. Bush as U.S. Deputy Secretary of Transportation from 89 to 91, as well as the 24th U.S. Secretary of Labor from 2001 to 2009 under President George W. Bush. Chow was the first Asian American woman and the first Chinese American in history to be appointed to a president's cabinet. Even Chow's personal life seems to be consumed by politics, as she has been married to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell since 1993. There have been some controversies surrounding the Republican couple and their family, including Chow's father, a shipping magnate with extensive business interests in China. Number five. The FMCSA, or Federal Motor Carrier Safety Act, was created within the DOT in 1999 in hopes to further improve the safety of commercial drivers and reduce the number as well as the severity of accidents involving large trucks. Since their inception, the FMCSA has implemented numerous regulations on the trucking industry, many of which have not been very well received by drivers and trucking advocates alike. The FMCSA is heavily involved in many controversial trucking topics such as hours of service, logbooks, and speed limiting. Number six, many of you have heard of the legendary trucker musician, Mr. Bill Weaver. Bill's song, Mr. D.O.T., is a song about the D.O.T. from a trucker's point of view. The song goes a little something like this. In addition to that banger, Bill sings all kinds of songs that are perfect for being out on the road. Speaking of being out on the road with Bill Weaver, be sure to check out Bill's show on Chrome and Steel Radio to catch exclusive Weaver Time content. Number seven, in 1983, the first ever female Secretary of Transportation, Elizabeth Dole, took office and quickly got to work on many new policies. The very next year in 1984 marked a groundbreaking year of major changes for the DOT with the implementation of safety belt laws, airbag regulations, and a national drinking age. This trifecta bill was signed into law on July 11th that year and is responsible for saving the lives of hundreds of thousands of individuals in the years since. Number eight. 
In 2015, the Center for Effective Government published an analysis of 15 federal agencies which receive the most Freedom of Information Act requests, which requires full or partial disclosure of previously unreleased information and documents controlled by the government. The DOT scored 65 out of 100 possible points, earning an unsatisfactory overall letter grade of a D. Needless to say, the DOT hasn't exactly done the greatest job keeping true to itself and others and could definitely stand room for further improvements. Number 9. The Department of Transportation holds an annual budget of $72.4 billion. Of that budget, the biggest spenders within the DOT are the Federal Highway Administration and the Federal Aviation Administration. Number 10. Many drivers have their own personal views on which state has the toughest crackdown on hours of service violations. However, according to statistics from OverdriveOnline.com, Arkansas seems to be the biggest bullies when it comes to cracking down on hours of service violations. Other notable mentions include, but are not limited to, North Dakota, Wyoming, Oregon, Kansas, Indiana, Iowa, South Dakota, Georgia, and Arizona. What state have y'all struggled with the most? Let us know in the comment section which state has given you the hardest time. Thank you so much for watching our 10 things you didn't know about the DOT and happy Friday the 13th. Before you leave, make sure you like the video, check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe. We recently reached our goal of 10,000 subscribers and, ironically enough, are quickly approaching 13k, just in time for our special Friday the 13th episode. Next stop, 20k. If you'd like to stay up to date with the new projects we have coming, please follow us at Jack's Chrome Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you haven't already, please consider purchasing a truck history shirt on jackschromeshow.com. Christmas is only two weeks away and they make great gifts. If you're in the mood for some chrome, please stop by our online chrome shop at jackschromeshop.com and save on your order by using the discount code YouTube at checkout. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember guys, if your rig don't shine, you don't know jack.